This is Aaron from Bloxels, and today we're going to take a look at how you can create more detailed environment art. What we're going to do is we're going to utilize the layers that the game builder provides us. That is the main decoration layer, the mid background layer, and with the most recent update, the door art layer that is provided through the door triggers. By using all three of these layers, we can make up to 24 color tiles. So let's get into it. You can see I've already went ahead and created uh, artwork for my ground. I'm going to call this my base tile. And this is what I'm kind of basing everything else around. Um, you can see I've used all eight of the colors available to me. I can't do any more in, really in terms of colors or detail. So this is just going to be as is. To get any type of grass, um, I'm going to create a separate piece of art, which I've already done. And this is going to be my topper piece. Um, and I'm going to actually apply this later. This is going to become door art. So this will actually layer on top of that base tile to uh, create the impression it's one complete tile, but gives us up to 16 colors. So let's go ahead and actually take a look at that now. I'm going to open up my game. And we're going to create some ground here. I'm going to decorate using that main tile I've made. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to add a door trigger. I'm going to add door art and bring in that tile topper. And you can see right here how it will look in game. Um, side note, I'm going to set this to door code D. I like to have a door code reserved for visual tricks like this and stuff so I don't accidentally unlock like, you know, pieces of ground later in the game if I wanted to give um, the player keys. So I just kind of know not to use this specific door code when I'm making my game. And I'm just going to copy that. And we're going to hit test. So you can see now I have um, basically 16 color tiles. So that's a little bit more along the lines of Super Nintendo or Sega Genesis, um, other 16 bit consoles. Um, but we can go further. So I've actually created a variant of my base tile that has holes in it. So I'm going to go ahead and lay those out. let's hit test real quick and the purpose of this is so we can actually see through that tile and get uh, and see the mid background art as well so i went ahead and i've created um, these animated glowing gems that i want to put into my tiles as well so i'm going to put those in as the mid background art and i'm going to fill in all those holes that i've added and this will now bring us to 24 color tiles to test. So you can see it has a really cool look to it. Um, you, you know, you could probably already imagine what you would do in your game. You could make it super detailed. Um, yeah, you can do all kinds of crazy stuff with this if uh, you are patient enough, because this will take uh, extra time. Let's go ahead and just add some mid background tiles here. Just to... there we go. So yeah, you can do. Uh, 24 color tiles with a couple of layering tricks. That's pretty neat. Again, you can't really do this with characters because you can't layer characters. Uh, orange blocks won't really work because you have to pick them up so they're not really like, you know, it's not really going to work. Um, but, you know, story blocks, um, you could do this with hazards. You could do this with, you know, obviously train, sort of with water. Um, so, yeah, there's just a, a lot you can do with this. Um, and I know, again, a lot of you are really into making super detailed games, pushing block souls as far as you can go, um, you know, taking it to its limits. So, yeah, some of you might already have discovered this on your own and you might already be using this. Uh, but if you haven't really uh, thought to do this, now you know. And uh, I look forward to seeing what you guys create. <laughs>